Hello everyone. Let's try to solve this question from the chapter light based on the concept spherical mirrors. Let's go through the question and try to understand what is given and what we need to answer. An object is placed between infinity and the pole of a convex mirror. Convex mirror is something like this, right? So this is your convex mirror. Draw a ray diagram and also state the position the relative size and the nature of the image form. So this is our pole and your center of curvature is somewhere here. So the line joining pole and center of curvature is known as principal axis. So this is the pole, this is the line joining pole and the center of curvature which is principal axis. Focus will be exactly at the center of the line joining P and C. So this is our focus. So we need to place an object between pole and infinity. Infinity on this side. So somewhere here, anywhere between pole and infinity, when you place an object, let's observe what is the nature of the image formed. Now to trace an image here, we need to consider two rays, right? One ray I am considering is a ray going parallel to the principal axis. How will its path be after reflection? When you extend its path after reflection, it should meet at focus. So the reflected ray will be something like this. After reflection, it will go like this. Now, the second ray I am considering is a ray which is incident at pole. After reflection, how will it go? It will go in such a way that, it will go in such a way that this angle should be equal to this angle. So principal axis will act as normal in this case. So this is my first ray and this is my second ray. And these two rays are never going to meet, right? These two rays are two diverging rays. So they are never going to meet. So how do I get an image in this case? We need to extend these rays backward like this. Like this here. And where they are meeting, they are meeting at a point here. Now what kind of image we will be getting here? The image is real or virtual? It's a virtual image because light rays are not meeting actually. What else can we see here? We can see that image is erect. And also smaller in size, right? We can clearly see that image size is smaller compared to object size. So it is diminished image, diminished image. And where it is forming? It is forming between pole and focus. Now what he is asking? State the position. Position is nothing but it is between pole and focus always. And the relative size is, the relative size is diminished. And the nature of the image formed is virtual and erect. So these are the four important points which he is asking us in the question. So image is forming between pole and focus.